guys? It's GVK Collectibles, and today for Figure Review Friday, we're going to be taking a look at Captain America, but not just any Captain America. We're going to be taking a look at Sam Frickin' Wilson, Captain America. As I said, guys, uh, today we'll be taking a look at Sa uh, Captain America Sam Wilson, uh, of course, from the new Falcon and Winter Soldier. I mean, I should say Captain and Winter Soldier. It's really, really cool uh, that uh, this is a little after the series has been done, and man, what a phenomenal series. I really love, and as soon as it, uh, I loved the series, it was really, really good, really well done. Uh, everybody was really, really good. Uh, I think it's kind of hard to compare which one do I think is better, WandaVision or Captain America uh, and the Winter Soldier. I think, uh, I like them both, uh, they're completely different, uh, WandaVision's a little out of the box for the MCU, just in general, it was a little different, but this felt more like an MCU movie throughout, like, each hour episode, which was really, really cool, and one of the things I think they did excellently was Sam Wilson as a character, and I'm very happy, uh, he became Captain America, I think we all knew he was gonna be Captain America, but it's just cool it's cool to see it on film and his costume is uh amazing too it very very comic book accurate looking uh suit which is really really cool but anyway uh, let's uh, get into this so this is of course a figure from diamond select uh this is actually i think a disney store exclusive as of right now uh some of these marvel selects i think they're supposed to be a scarlet witch but that hasn't been released yet as far as i'm aware of and i think it's also a disney exclusive but they haven't really i haven't really seen it anywhere yet so which is really really cool you get as with all kind of diamond select figures uh and marvel select figures of course you get this open window packaging very very big for their seven inch figures which has always been a thing that i've noticed and i have actually really liked the packaging for these because it's very different it actually kind of reminds me of like older figure packaging like from back in the day like the lost world stuff uh and maybe, maybe that's just because of me uh but then you get a side profile of course of uh falcon of captain america right here sam wilson of course which looks phenomenal the sculpting on this thing looks really really great then you get a great background shot of him with the wings on and everything uh you get all the credits of course and uh warnings and everything up here there's really nothing at the top or the bottom. So, with that out of the way, uh, let's get uh, Captain America out of the packaging and see how he is. Here we have Sam Wilson, aka Captain Frickin' America, out of the packaging. And holy crap, this is such a cool, really, really cool figure. This is the first time I've, uh, this is just blind reaction of me opening it out of the box already. It is such a cool figure. Like, it's really, really well done. I was, I'm really impressed with it. There's a few gripes that I have, but I think they could be uh, solved out with some, uh, a little time uh, with some of these if I had a little bit more time to deal with the figure. So, uh, but one thing I gotta say, the paint apps on the figure look absolutely phenomenal. The sculpting is really, really great. This is one of the first, like, uh, well, not true. This is actually probably my second Marvel Diamond Select figure. I do have the Psylocke, who is, aka, one of my favorite characters in the comics. So, it is really, really cool to have this Sam Wilson Captain America. He does come with accessories. The shield looks awesome. Uh, the wings look really, really great. Uh, he, overall, just a really, really cool looking figure. And, like, the face sculpt looks actually really, really good, too. So, uh, before we jump into the greater details, articulation, all that size comparisons, all that thing, uh, he, as I said, he does come with a few accessories, so we're gonna take a look at those real quickly. As I said, uh, there are a few accessories, of course, that come with this Captain America figure, so I think the first one we should start out with is the shield. Really, really good. Really well done, I think. Uh, it is cool, because it is, you could definitely tell this is actually the, the alternate shield, the alternate universe shield that Cap gave Sam uh, at the end of End game which is really really cool which I can't believe a lot of people didn't realize that 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 wasn't the original shield that, that this was a alternate timeline shield which is really really cool once again really really well done I don't know if there's really uh, I, this is my first Captain America figure I've actually owned from Marvel select uh, so I, I, I'm not really the, the foremost expert on if this shield's been used multiple times I do believe it may be but like a few different detailing here and there because I know for a fact this is like based off the new like the new shield that we see uh in the show itself uh you get some really really good like red this kind of like red candy kind of paint i guess that's what you want to call it it's really really beautiful really shiny and 
reflective. Also this really, really cool blue with some silvers, and there's a few scuff marks here and there just to show uh, the shield's been through a lot, which is really, really cool. I think this is a really, really beautiful shield. Probably one of my favorites I've seen. Uh, the only other one I've seen is uh, the Captain America Civil War 3-pack that came with the Iron Man, Spider-Man, and a Captain America. So, And that shield was really, really pretty. So there's that. Uh, also, once again, uh, I think with... Uh, all of the Marvel Select figures, a lot of them, they do come with some alternate hands, so you get like this kind of trigger finger hand, which looks really, really cool. The detailing and the, co the uh, color is very similar to uh, that, the shield color, which is really, really cool. You actually get some, uh, I don't know if it's picking up, but there's some cool kind of sculpted details within uh, the sculpting itself, which is really, really cool. Uh, it's kind of maybe hard to pick up on camera, so he has a set of trigger, uh, tr like a set of trigger, uh, tr uh, trigger fingers, so he has a right and left one of this. Uh, he has a open hand, like a stop sign, or like a stop hand, which looks really, really good. Another one for the left, uh, and he comes with the two fisted hands, which look really, really good. Like, all these are really sculpted, well, uh, detailed. They all have really si the same paint apps on them, which is what you want from a Captain America figure. So another thing, too, is uh, his pack. This is where his wings are stored, which is really, really cool. I love the fact that they're made out of uh, vibranium, which is really, really cool. Uh, and apparently, originally, they weren't supposed, they weren't going to be made out of vibranium, but then I think somebody had the idea of doing it, so it's really, really cool. Uh, I'll, and after uh, I get done showing off the, the rest of the accessories, I'll show you how to put it in the wings uh, and put them on the figure themselves. Uh, then you also get Red Wing 2, a.k.a. Uh, Red Wing... I want to say maybe like three or four at this point because Red Wing has been destroyed so many times. I think he was destroyed uh, in a, in Civil War. I think he was destroyed in Infinity War. I can't remember exactly, but it is really, really cool to see this Red Wing. Uh, really kind of cool to see it kind of because Red Wing's at, in the comics is actually a real hawk because that's like Sam Wilson's powers. He's able to communicate with hawks. Which is a little weird, and I think a lot of people, when they announced Falcon was going to be in the MCU, they were a little worried about, like, how can they do the character right? But once again, like, they did the, the MCU did of where it's like, oh, it's technology-based, which is cool. Uh, and also, Anthony Mackie is a phenomenal actor. He's really great as Sam Wilson. He really, like, I feel like everybody in... Uh, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier really, really shines. Uh, Sebastian Stan... Uh, Anthony Mackie, freaking uh, 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 Wyatt Russell is also an outstanding, like, he is great as uh, John Walker, but really, really cool. Uh, a lot of similar red paint apps. You get this blue in there, which is really, really cool. I really like it. Uh, I'm kind of sad they didn't come with, like, a little base at all for this guy. I know the Marvel Select, not the Marvel Select, the Marvel, Marvel Legends Build-A-Figures, uh, the one that's the Loki one actually comes with a red wing with a base on it, so that's kind of sad. But, uh, on to the main caveat, I think, are the wings. So these are really, really beautifully done. They're, they're very identical, uh, very similar to, uh, um, Falcon's regular wings that he has in, like, when he was Falcon, but they are made out of adamant, adamant not adamantium, vibranium, uh, but you also get kind of the, uh, cool Captain America-esque design, which is really, really cool, really well done. I think these, uh, like, let me just hold one of them for right now. These look really, really good. It is a kind of thin plastic, so, uh, uh, kind of like a thin, hard plastic, which is really, really good, I think, especially for these, but they, like, bend easy. I wouldn't, like, you know, fully bend them because that'd be wrong. But like, really a lot of good paint detailing on the silver, the blue, uh, the red. I really love these colors because they really like, they really pop and they're really unique looking colors for this uh, uh, figure. So, uh, and for those of you who know who want to know, so this is how you uh, do the pack. So the pack actually comes with a separate piece that you take off that you could just store that wherever you want it to. Uh, then. There's these two peg holes in the back. I the main reason I said there was a little bit of issues, but uh, was the peg holes, like the the top peg holes for the figure itself, uh, for the wings themselves. They kind of became loose after a while, but that seems to be fixed just because I now put them in. Yeah, then we get the pop. Then there's just a little peg hole on the back of Captain America. They plug it right in, and voila looks really really cool really well done I really love 
Uh, I really love the wings. I don't know how I'm going to display this. I'm actually probably, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang them, because uh, I have an angled wall. I'm going to hang them right, probably above my, uh, like a little above my uh, Xbox, my gaming setup, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's all the accessories for right now. So, uh, without further ado, let's actually get to, uh, Captain America himself. Oh my, look at that beautiful man. Uh, this is a really, really cool, like, a really well done head sculpt of Anthony. You, like, you can definitely look at this and it's like, oh, that's Anthony Mackie right there, which is really, really cool. Uh, really well done. As I said, uh, I think a while ago, like, during the, uh, me talking about the intro, uh, of the figure just paused out of the box, he, this costume is absolutely phenomenal. I think it's one of my favorite MCU costumes I've seen. Uh, I think the Homecoming suit is another one that I really like just because of the, the pure design of it. But this looks, like, phenomenal. They've been stepping their game up uh, with, like, the, the comic-accurate-looking costumes, which is really, really phenomenal. So, uh, but you get the cool, like, Cap you get the Captain America logo right here, of course. It's very unique, very different than the similar kind of chest, like the bottom, uh, like the, like, torso, not torso, uh, abdomen, I guess, uh, piece. Very similar to Steve Rogers' designs throughout the whole Captain America franchise, which is really, really cool. Uh, it's very unique, and this is actually kind of cool of, like, there's actually a reasoning behind this of where, uh, because since Falcon was a part, Sam Wilson was a part of the Air Force, uh, for a fallen comrade, they basically, uh, in a like flight formation, they actually uh, leave a spot open for uh, said uh, deceased, like the pilot that had passed. So I thought that's really really cool, and that this really translates uh, to uh, the suit, which is really really cool. And it's a fairly cool evolution of Sam as a character of coming into his own as Captain America, which I really really love. Uh, but like overall, the suit like there's a lot of great sculpt de sculpted detail. Uh, th there's cool, like, the top, the actual top piece right here, uh, if you can tell, there, it's actually got a unique little, like, kind of like a, uh, Ke not Kevlar, uh, like, it's a very unique kind of texture, which is really, really good. You got a lot of line detailing here and there, which is really, really cool. Also, the collar, which looks really, really fantastic in the back of the head. Uh, also, the peg holes for the back, but, you, like, you could definitely tell the amount of sculpted detail. Uh, that you're seeing within this figure, which looks absolutely phenomenal. You get the belt and everything, which looks really, really cool. And the pants, which is really, really well done. The knees and, like, the, the paint apps also, just generally on this figure, are really, really good. I think this is the first uh, Marvel, because there's been a few ones in the past, just maybe because it was the past, that some of the paint apps were kind of, like, I wasn't sure about, but, like, seeing this, it's, like, these are really, really awesome-looking uh, paint apps. It's also, you got the gauntlets, to the two gauntlets on the side, which uh, control, like, the uh, the Red Wing drones, which is really, really cool, because he has multiple Red Wings, so he doesn't have to worry about them getting destroyed, which is really, really cool. Some jets. And you also kind of see some, like, kind of jets at the bottom. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that's really, really cool and well done. Yeah. So the detailing on the figure on this figure is absolutely amazing. The sculpting is really, really great. Whoever at Diamond uh, Select, Diamond, whoever they did the sculpting on this figure, they did a phenomenal job on it. Uh, probably one of my favorite looking uh, MCU figures that I have actually. And I don't own really too many MCU figures, so it's really, really cool to have uh, this Captain America figure. It's really, really well done. So with that out of the way, let's jump into uh, Sam's articulation real quick just to see how he is. And for Sam, uh, Captain America's articulation, he can't really look up all too much, which is kind of disappointing because you want this character to look up a lot uh, because he, to get him in like kind of flying poses, uh, yeah, if I push it any harder, like you can look up a little bit, but it isn't too ridiculously much. You can look down somewhat, which is kind of disappointing because you kind of wanted, you want this figure to look up really high just because it is, he normally is a fly, like he has the wings, he's a flying character, so it's like it makes sense for him. Uh, arms can move out that far. It is a single jointed elbow, I think, yep, there's a swivel right here. Yeah. God, I'm trying to think. Uh, double jointed elbows, which is really, really good. Calf can move out in arms, so that's really, really cool because you can get them in some good poses. Uh, the arms are, the hands, I think, are on a, they are on a hinge, but you can, like, rotate them all around, which is really, really good. Uh, same thing with the same. He does have an ab, cr 
cap crunch, which is really good, really good. Uh, not really a waist swivel at all, so that's, eh, it's okay. Uh, Lace can move out that forward that much. They can go about that much. They are hindered by the back piece, of course. He does have a thigh swivel, which is really, really good. Double jointed elbows. Uh, I mean knees, which is really, really awesome. Uh, the knee pad is actually attached to its own thing, so, like, it doesn't hinder the look of, so you can get him into some kind of cool, like, kind of, uh, flying poses, which I'm going to try for the thumbnail. I'm going to try to get him in that, like, Captain America, uh, all new Captain America, I think, Captain America Sam Wilson cover of number one back in the day, which is really, really cool. Uh, late feet move up, down a little, and there is a beautiful ankle pivot, which is really, really good for this figure, I think. So overall thoughts on the figure itself, uh, like the articulation, it's really good. I wish you could look up a little bit more. Uh, also, uh, for those of you who wonder, the shield just goes in easy like that. Like I just have it like this. I think you can technically like move it in far enough to where you could actually like take the uh, this hand off and plug it in. But I'm not completely sure. This is how I have it, just because it makes a little bit more sense for it. So, yeah, it looks really, really good. So, with that out, with Sam's articulation all out of the way, let's get into some size comparisons to see what he scales with. Here he is compared to some other action figures from different superheroes and slash action figures from different companies. Here we have the Action Comics 1000 uh, Superman, which looks really, really cool next to him, I think, because both of these are... They're American icons at this point. And we also have the NECA Phantom uh, character from, I forget what the line's called, but it's like the little adventure show. Like, not adventure show, but it's like an older show from back in the day that had Flash Gordon and all that kind of stuff, crazy stuff. I got it just because I like the Phantom. I think he's a really cool character. And also Emil from uh, Halo the Spark Collection, which we'll be reviewing very soon. Uh, so, yeah, he's about, uh, like, he's a little taller than the McFarlane figure, and he's, a lit, like, roughly on par, I think, with a NECA figure, which is really, really good. I really like that about uh, the... Captain America figures, which look really, really cool. It's like, I think it's really well done within scale. Here he is compared to some other Diamond figures. We have the Crow, aka Eric Drevin from uh, the Crow, of course, from Diamond Select. We have Marvel Select Psylocke, which I really love this figure, and also the Diamond Select John Wick. Uh, out of all of them, I think the scaling, I don't know, especially with uh, Psylocke and compared to him, I don't know, is completely accurate. Uh, but once again, I don't know, because they have, like, Psylocke's not in the MCU yet, so it's kind of hard to tell. John is really, really, like, a tall figure, too, so, like, Diamond, I think Diamond may have the same problem that, uh, McFarlane does with their scaling, because usually a lot of the times, even if you get, like, the same, like, different Batman figures, and technically all those Batman figures should be technically the same size, they really aren't, so I don't really have a problem with it. I don't expect me to, like, pose with, uh, uh, Psylocke and whatever, but it is really, really cool to have them all side, like, these diamond, uh, select, uh, figures side by side, which is really, really cool. Here's one fun little comparison to his Marvel Legend 2-pack, uh, from Infinity War with the Winter Soldier, uh, Marvel Legend, uh, and compared to his Captain America. It's a cool evolution to see, uh, even though, like, this figure is clearly a lot bigger than this one. Uh, this one's a six-inch scale figure, but off by too much. I mean, I think if you gave this guy a little bit uh, like a bigger body mold, I think, or make him a little taller, he would be roughly on par. But they are completely two different companies, so it definitely makes sense. Here we have Captain Frickin' America taking flight. This figure is so cool on a flight base. Now, I don't have a really truly fancy flight base. This is actually a NECA flight base, which does really, really good job. I know I have actually, uh, from the Batman uh, film series, uh, that, that came with a base, uh, a flight base too, and I kind of want to find that one and put that him on that one because it just looks cool. Like, just granite, this also looks really, really freaking cool. It is so cool to have him with the wings on in the flying pose. It's so, so cool. Uh, overall thoughts on this figure, I think it is a phenomenal figure. Like, I do have minor gripes with it. Uh, mainly one of them was being the pack itself, uh, the wings not being able to fit, but luckily if you just, uh, the solution for that is if you just heat them up with like an air dryer or something, uh, to make the actual joints loose, uh, like the actual holes loose for the figure. It actually makes it go in pretty dang easy. So I was very happy about that. That was like an easy fix. Also, 
uh, him not being able to look up all the way to get him like in some cool flight poses. I actually tried my best to do like a recreation of the Captain America pose, but it is cool to see him in this flying pose. I really don't have too many flying characters uh, besides like monsters like Rodan, Destroya, Ghidorah, that kind of thing. But even then, Mothra, even then, uh, they come with their own flight bases. So it is really, really cool to see this. I do wish it did include its own flight base. I think that would have been really, really cool. Even if it was, like, jacked up a little, like, if it was, like, a $50 fit, like, $50 even for the flight base, or you, you could even just keep it at that mark. But uh, either way, ultimately, this is such a cool figure. If you love Falcon, Captain America, and the Winter Soldiers show, I definitely suggest pick this up. This, uh, I think Anthony Mackie is here to stay as Captain America for as long as he wants to. I know the dude absolutely loves being in the Marvel movies, so I think it's going to be really, really cool to see him uh, in as Captain America within the movies. As we know, uh, 4 is getting developed right now, and I'm very, very excited for it. I think he is going to be a phenomenal Captain America. He already proved in that last episode that he is a phenomenal Captain America. So, with that being said, that is Figure Review Friday. So, it's been a while since we've actually done a proper figure review. It was the, uh, we took a bit of a break when me and my brother went on, me and Jack's pop guy, we went on our trip. Also, so uh, there was the special and everything. Uh, so yeah, it's really good to get kind of back into the, the groove of things to do videos and stuff again. So I'm very happy to do that. So remember, if you guys like the video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Hit a little bell notification so you can get notified when we upload Mythical Mount Monday, What's in the Box Wednesday, and Figure You Friday, of course. Also, check us out on our uh, respective Instagram pages, me, GBK Collectibles, my brother Jack's Pop Guy. Uh, and also, uh, check us out on our respective Makari shops. We're very, very excited uh, to, like, we got a lot of cool stuff on there. And definitely check us out. I, too, I've been a little lazy and I need to put stuff on there, but I will eventually get to it, I promise. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this Figure Review Friday. I hope you have a great, safe weekend. Have a fun weekend, as it is it's beginning of summer, technically. So, yeah, with that being said, peace, y'all.